It's graduation day for the first company, Commando Battalion of the 7th Iraqi Army Division. But this graduation isn't so much pomp and circumstance, it's more like pop and advance. As the commandos show off their new skills as a fighting unit. But it wasn't always like this. From the beginning to completion has been a little bit of a roller coaster. Uh, it started off with uh, the guys didn't have a lot of motivation. Uh, their confidence level went within their, themselves as far as soldiers and the training level they had was very low. Robert Wise, a former Special Forces soldier, works with the Marines Military Transition Team 7, or MIT-7, to train the Iraqis. These men were his first group. Um, and as you can see today, these guys are super pumped. You know, they feel confident in what they can do. They look good. They look very professional. I mean, I was, I was ecstatic. I told them that I was like a, 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 a proud father. It was a very beneficial and uh, we would love uh, to go through, uh, through it again. Uh, it was surprising uh, and I love, uh, I love my soldiers and uh, I like them to continue doing that. Through an interpreter, Captain Mohammed Sabar Rabia, an intelligence officer with the 7th Iraqi Army Division, says the commando battalion is trained and ready for battle if necessary. For sure, uh, I would love to use it, and uh, it's uh, considered as a fist uh, for the whole the division. The captain also took time to thank the Marines of MIT-7 for training the soldiers. And I'm hoping to continue training uh, with the American side for my brigade, uh, and I appreciate your time, and I thank you very much. Iraqi soldiers, American trained preparing for the day when U.S. and coalition forces leave. For MNFW Iraq, I'm Randy Garcia.